They've been around for 300 million years. A prehistoric fish is being returned to one of the most timeless lakes in Texas. Yes. We're ready for the paddlefish. <laughs> We're ready. There's no other place in Texas quite like Cattle Lake with the cypress trees and the Spanish moss. It's magical, it's mysterious. It is one of the, the jewels, one of the really beautiful places in Texas. Paddlefish were in this system at one time and they're not here anymore because of the river fragmentation. Tag is in and we will sew up the fish. Fish and Wildlife Service working with other groups like Cattle Lake Institute, the Nature Conservancy, the Corps of Engineers, USGS, Parks and Wildlife. Uh, they've actually implanted radio transmitters in about 47 paddlefish, and they're going to release them and track them for a period of about six months. In the town. Right in the middle of the river. I think if we just came and, and put paddlefish back in the river with nothing else happening, uh, chances of their success would be low. A little more. Got it. There are a lot of pieces to this project and a lot of different groups working on it. They're healthy fish. They look great. Paddlefish are a very unique species. They are on the threatened species list in Texas. They're older than dinosaurs. They're just fantastic fish. Today, we're going to release about 50 of them. You do not forget them when you see one. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, all the uh, incisions look good. Paddlefish can grow up to seven feet long, weigh as much as 200 pounds, and live up to 30 years. These fish are only 18 months old. In the springtime, during their spawning season, they need a high flow pulse to find their spawning grounds and to uh, lay eggs in the fast current in the river. The construction of a dam in 1959 created Lake of the Pines on Big Cypress Bayou, but interrupted the natural rhythm of the river. Really for about 10 years, uh, many groups have been working on mimicking these natural flows. Lake of the Pines has done great as a flood control structure, provided lots of water supply for many of the cities. So now we're just asking them to add a third feature, which is releases for fish and wildlife. I think the paddlefish is a means to an end. I mean, we like to see the paddlefish in here, obviously, but that in turn helps a lot of other species, a lot of other uh, things in the environment. So it's a win-win. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Karen Loke.